everyone here in this video we're gonna be learning about how to split an array in the previous video i explained you about how to do the joining of arrays if you have not seen that i would say go on youtube and type this string you will get this particular video this is yet to be premiered this will be premiered on 10th may right and once it is premiered by the time when you are watching this video this would have been premiered right so you can just check out this video and then you can continue with the current one if you want to check out the all playlist then you can check out this numpy playlist we will be providing the link into the description section all right so over here here we have one array of course this is one dimensional array and there could be a situation when you require two different arrays out of this one right if you want to divide it into two parts or maybe in any part okay so how can you do that to do that what you're gonna do is you're gonna say np np is nothing but the alias when i imported numpy library okay and then you're gonna say array split here is the function np dot array split and in this you provide the array name and then you provide the number of parts in which you want to divide it let's say two so here it is divided into so here like you can see it is divided into two different parts it had 16 elements and all of them has been divided in two different parts if you want to divide it in three different parts or let's say four different parts that can also be done you see those are divided in four different parts right so this is how you can split this thing now these are 16 elements let's say i want to divide it into five elements so if you divide it in five elements if you divide 15 by 5 you can have three pairs right you can have three set of the arrays but if you are dividing in if you are dividing 16 elements into five how is that gonna be so that's the best part with np array this array is split right that's the best part it automatically adjusts their size right so if you see this particular element this particular array has four element this particular rest all the part rest all the arrays have three element in each of them so the point which i'm trying to make over here is no matter how many parts you want to make the numpy will automatically do the adjustment so that's something which you should take a note of now after this what i will do is i will try to explain you splitting on a 2d array so for that we require to convert this array into a 2d if you want to create a separate one then you can also do that okay so i will do reshape this is something which we have already explained in the previous videos i will be providing a link into the description you can check that out okay so here i am going to provide the shape name all right sorry so it doesn't works like this here we're gonna say array dot the array which we want to convert and then we're gonna say reshape and in that i want to create a 454 array so here we got it in two dimension let me show you the dimension as well so this is the two dimensional array let me show you the shape of this array so this is 4 is to 4 right so this is the array which we have now if you want to split this into two part how can you do that same thing we're gonna do np dot array split and in that we need to provide the array name which will be array underscore 2d and how many parts we want to split in two parts now you see over here it is splitted in two parts now you must be seeing that it is splitting from here right so in 2d arrays you would have rows and columns so these are columns and these are rows right so it is splitting like this right so this also takes one more argument which is called axis and if you provide axis equals to one this is doing this splitting like this horizontal splitting right let me explain you this over here so here we can do two type of splitting in the array which has dimensions more than one right so first split we will do is vertical split so for this axis value should be zero so let's say this is the array and if you want to do a vertical split means simply you want to cut it 
from here okay in two parts when it comes to two part right and when it is splitted you're gonna have two parts like this now it comes to horizontal splitting so this is the base array and if, when you do the horizontal splitting this is how you do the horizontal splitting right so you consider it from the perspective of rows this is one row and you cut this so this is the horizontal splitting right and when you see the result it comes like this right you see two arrays so if you see over here these each of these two columns are over here and these two columns are over here right so if you want to do horizontal split you're going to provide the axis value equals to one if you want to do vertical split you're going to provide the axis value equals to zero i just hope that this is clear to you just for a reference you can take a screenshot of this and you can keep that with you now coming back over here so like i just showed you if you don't provide any axis value it gonna use axis value equals to zero and that's vertical splitting now if you provide the axis value equals to one then it's gonna do the horizontal splitting right and you're gonna get this kind of result in this also if you want to make multiple parts let's say five so it is splitting that into five parts you see so in the first one you have these many elements in the second one you have these many elements in the third one you have these many elements right one two three four and in fifth in fifth you don't have any elements right so if you want to make three part of it so it's gonna work like this right so if you see in first array it is taking two columns in the second one one column in the third one one column okay so this is how it does the reshaping if axis is something which is confusing you which one is when you provide axis equals to zero then that means it's a horizontal splitting no sorry vertical splitting and when you provide axis equals to one then that's a vertical splitting so if it is something which is confusing you which also does to me as well so there is another shortcut for this what i mean another way of this what you can do is you can use np dot vertical splitting right v split we call it v split right and in this you provide the array name which is array 2d and then you provide the parts in which you want to split it right so you see over here it is split it like this i just hope that it is becoming clear to you right just in case if you get any confusion just uh, put that into the comment section now over here you see it is vertically splitted but the only condition is here it will do the equal split like here you saw we provided three we had 16 elements and we split it that in three part and it automatically did the adjustment right sorry we had four elements for, because it's a 2d array so we had four 1d arrays and it automatically did the adjustment but if you do the same thing over here it will give you an error so the point is if you are using v split you should always split that into equal parts for example if you want you can split that into four if you want you can split that into two right N nothing else right but if you are using this array split then you can split that into as many parts as you want same way if you want to do the horizontal splitting and axis value is something which creates a confusion for you so in that case what you can use is np dot h split you can use h split and in that you simply provide the array name and then you can provide the parts with, in which you want to split it okay here it just gave you an error now we will just see no okay spelling is not correct here h split now if you run this so you're gonna get the equal parts if you want to split it in four equal parts then you can do this right so if you want to get equal parts I can suggest that you can go ahead and use H split or V split. If you want to do vertical split, do use V split. If you want to do horizontal split, use H split, right? If you want to split it, no matter whether the each part is equal or not, then you can go ahead and use array split along with axis values. Now, because we have already splitted this, now if you want to, let's say if you want to take this particular array, if you want to fetch this particular array out of this, how can you do that, right? So I'm going to say my array, I'm creating a separate variable, right? And out of my array, I will just print this here for you so that it will be visible over here. And out of this, I want to take this particular 
segment so if you see this is the list of arrays starting from here till here so the way you do the indexing on list or slicing or dicing on a list the same way you can do here as well so from that perspective this is the zeroth array first array second array so you can simply take two you can simply put two and you're gonna get this particular array so this is how you can also do the slicing and dicing you can do the splitting and then you can do it slice and dice i just hope that it was clear to you just in case if you get any question put that into the comment section i will definitely try to reply on that okay until then happy learning wish you very all